gang, how are you doing? Jonathan here for Tailhunter Sport Fishing, and it's time once again for the Mexican Minute La Paz video fishing report coming to you from La Paz, Baja, Mexico, and then covering all of the fishing action for our sport fishing fleet from the 18th through the 24th of August. 2021. Wherever you are, hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for checking in. We really appreciate you spending some time with us. And also, if you can, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, and please subscribe if you like what we're doing. So let's jump right into it. Listen, I'll be straight up with you. You know, if you've been watching my fishing reports and reading my fishing reports for all of these years, you know I try to give you the straight scoop. I don't sugarcoat things if there ain't no sugar. And I'll tell you what, it's been a little sticky the last week, a week and a half, week and a half or so, for a number of reasons. Quite honestly, the fishing has just not been real good. I'll, I'll be straight up with you. There's been a couple of reasons for that. Number one, we've had a really huge full moon. And normally I'll tell you, a, a full moon doesn't affect things in and of itself, just by itself, just sitting up there big and bright and shining over the ocean and everything. A big full moon doesn't worry me much at all. But you combine it with some other things and that can affect fishing quite a bit. And we did have some other variables that came into play these last few days, this last week and a half or so. We had two hurricanes come by us. Now, when I say hurricanes, yes, they were hurricanes. Yes, they were kind of strong and they're bigger than storms, but they really didn't touch us. They were outside. But even when you have a hurricane and it's hundreds and hundreds of miles to the south, it can still have an effect. And yes, indeed, we had Linda and we also had uh, Kevin come by us. Again, way to the south, didn't uh, do any damage or anything like that. But being close enough, they still had an effect and they sent up some big waves, they sent up some currents, they sent up some strong winds, and that had an effect on the air, on the water temperature, the air temperature, the humidity, the air pressure, a lot of things going on. And on top of that, now those have just started moving out and I don't know if you can see, see behind me very well, but the humidity is way up. It's kind of a cloudy day, and as a matter of fact, we're expecting rain this afternoon. Nothing big, but this is, I forget what they call it. I think they're calling this Tropical Storm Marty. This is the time of year when we get these tropical storms. Might not be a full hurricane, but we'll get, you know, we'll get 10 or 15 minutes of rain. It'll rain here, but not there. It rains out in the ocean, but uh, doesn't rain in the city. It can rain right here where my office is, but not over on the Malacan where our Tail Hunter restaurant is. It's very sporadic. It's very intermittent, but with that kind of rain, you might get some flooding. You might get some runoff that affects the fishing and you combine that with the full moon and quite honestly the bottom line is that fishing has just been really picky really sticky not as good as we would expect it to be this kind of this time of the year but things can always change and you just never know this is the time of year when things like that happen overall this usually is the best time of fishing especially for things like dorado uh, tuna tuna haven't shown up wahoo haven't shown up but dorado for sure rooster fish uh, Wahoo, like I said, haven't shown up. Billfish, uh, the species that a lot of folks come down for, this is usually the busy time of year because this is the best time of year. But you may never know when you're going to get some little intermittent uh, weather issues that come in. And that's what we had in uh, abundance this last week and a half. Two hurricanes and now a tropical storm. But by tomorrow, they're saying things should pass and things should get back to normal. But those things did have a big effect on us. Dorado, still the number one target fish that we're getting. Probably 80% of the catch is going to be Dorado. We're not seeing those big ones that we had earlier in the year, those 30, 40, 50 pounders. But, you know, we're getting five, 10, uh, 10 fish per boat per day. Maybe in that 10 to 15 pound class, 20 pound would be a bigger fish. But those are the predominant species that we're catching right now. Still seeing a lot of billfish. Uh, we're seeing marlin, we're seeing sailfish, still got some rooster fish around, although those big ones we haven't seen too many in the last week and a half. But that 5 and 10 pound size that's really fun fishing on light tackle are still around. Still pargo, still cabrilla, lots of big bonito around, so there's still some action but just not on par with what we usually have this time of year. So just want to give you a heads up, want to be straight up with you, want, don't want to sugarcoat anything like I said. It is very hot, it's very, very humid. I'll give you an example. The other day, the air temperature was 82 degrees at four o'clock in the morning when I got up. I walked outside of our office, which is air conditioned. I walked outside and I had my glasses on. It was like being blinded. Suddenly my glasses immediately fogged up. I needed windshield wipers on them and the humidity was 84 percent 
at four o'clock in the morning. It got better as the day went on, but it's it's just up and down, it's sideways, you just never know how it's gonna be. Also that same day, it said it was gonna be 93 as our high temperature. However, with the humidity, it was 111 degrees. So, you know, that's just the way it is this time of year. Fishing normally, this is the best time of year to be down here, so I've got some high hopes for the coming uh, days if you're coming down, but just this last week, just to give you a straight up report, this last week, week and a half, Fishing was a little sticky. We all worked hard. Thank you to all the fishermen who hung in with hung in with us. Thank you to all our captains who worked really hard to find fish. Everyone did go home with fish that wanted fish. Everyone caught fish that wanted to catch fish. They just didn't catch maybe as many as they thought they would or not as big as they thought they would. So that's going to be a quick wrap up for our Tail Hunter Fishing Report. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for checking in. Again, if you like what we're doing, give us a like, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. This is Jonathan for the Mexican Minute. Hope you're doing well. God bless. Take care of each other. We'll catch you next week.